Hey, what's going on, everyone? Who we went six back again with another video. Uh, how y'all doing this e this evening? Um, the way I'm, I'm still gonna do live streams on my channel, but um, I figured I figured this way because I don't I don't really have like a whole bunch to talk about when it comes to this to this topic, so I I, I don't want to make a, a big live stream of it. But I, I, you know, I'm still do I'm still do regular videos. I'm just, I'm gonna do um, you know, video old school videos like this as well. I haven't done I haven't done a video like this in years. But, um, yeah, so this, this, this is the topic that I want to talk about, right? So, for those of you who probably know, don't know, whatever, David Jeffrey made a comment on his, uh, on his podcast and regarding, uh, Xbox One first party quality and, and, um, you know, for Microsoft first party MPD, not, um, MPDs in general, first party, and, and he also, um, was talking about Owen, and for those who, who don't know, Owen is the um, is the disabled kid in the uh, in the video in the Microsoft you know Super Bowl ad, um, that which it was you know I believe this happened this past Super Bowl, uh, and you know it's a great commercial, whatever everyone knows that, right? J Jaffe made a a joke that involved Owen, like he pretty much you pretty much said that oh why guy why. First you, first you give me this, this this ability, and then then you let me, then you got me to play Crackdown Three, right? And everyone's upset about it, mainly Xbox dudes, but there's also other people as well who are upset about it. And you know, there's lots of talk and, and, and shit like that. And and I, I just wanted to make this discussion. I, I just wanted to talk about this um, here right quick. Now I'm not going to talk about Microsoft first party quality, first party sales, what have you, because I've already done that. I we've gone through this through the through the wire with that one, right? We've been through the, we've been we've been through all this, right? What I'm going to discuss is is Owen's involvement in it, and um and, and you know was Jaffe out of line for for including him in in his little you know I guess you could say joke if you will. Now for now first thing first. When I first heard about it, I thought it. I I actually thought it was funny, cause cause I cause I never thought that he was trying to trash the kid, right? I he like he definitely wasn't trashing the kid. Like anybody who who jumped to that conclusion, and I and also I, I also want to talk about that real quick too. Like people kind of jumping the gun on criticism and whatnot. So I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But just to the to the Jaffe point, he wasn't. He definitely wasn't trying to trash the kid. That definitely not not the case, right? Cause um. He never like he, he 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 went on and on saying how it was a great commercial this and that. I think what he did, I mean, pretty much what he did, he just used it as kind of like a joke to highlight how poor Microsoft's first party lineup has been, right? Now, now I I did say I did find it funny, but do I think that it's something that I would have done? No. Do I think he's out of line? Uh, no. Do I th would I have done it? No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I think. I think it's just a situation where he tried to make kind of like a funny, and you know, obviously there's some people who who are who are obviously going to be upset about it because you know he trashed Xbox, and a lot of people tend to use the Owen thing as kind of like a crux. I do believe that. Now I do believe there's other people who think that why bring him up in this in this conversation. Me personally, I think Jaffe could have made his point without without bringing up Owen, and I get the idea of what he's trying to say. Like I said, I, do I think that he's trying to be malicious in that? No, I just think that he. I, I just think that when you bring up Owen, I just think that he, he, you give people an opportunity to to pretty much um, to pretty much you know kind of discredit your your point and, and shit like that. And and you know I know I've heard I just heard him now on on um, Brap's um, podcast with him, Double Bear Gaming, and Luca. And that was, and I, if you guys haven't listened to it, I think it's a very interesting listen. I definitely think it's a very interesting listen. Listen to him and, and give his point. And and before I go, before I move on, um, he did mention something that I didn't really, um, that I didn't really think about when it comes to his defense. Now, there are some people, I think Luca went on and said that, oh, well, you know, he she found this, the joke in poor taste. And I, it seemed to me that J Jaffe was offended by that. Because apparently, in his mind, he thinks that people who say that are not giving him enough. Would think that he's that they're not giving him enough credit to di differentiate the difference between making some making fun of somebody like making fun of them, or using them as as a as a as a prop for a joke, 
right? And I think those two, I don't think they never really fully understood each other in that in that in that regard. But I think they, I, I do I do uh, I do think that you guys should listen to it. I think it's, it's a very cool, it's a very good podcast. Shout out to Brap anyway, like do you know Enrique? You know, dude, dude's a cool dude, and he, we, we actually share the same birthday, so that that makes him extra extra cool in my book. So now, before I go, let me explain something. Let me explain something that I, I've noticed on 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 Twitter, and this is not this is not just you know just the Jaffe situation. It really isn't even the situation I'm about to bring up. This goes on all the time, right? When you have a tweet, when someone writes a tweet, right, and they're doing something or they're saying something. And, you know, they're not, I, I, I don't want to say necessarily that they're 100% clear on it, but they're only, but you're only seeing the tweet for what the tweet was, as opposed to the context behind the tweet. And especially if it's something that is said, you know, if it's like something that's derogatory, a lot of people are going to, um, a lot of people are going to, uh, you know, take it for what it is and start running with it, especially if you're someone who, who people don't like. Right, and I wanted to address the situation with Crap Gamer. Now, obviously, you guys know I don't give, I don't like Crap Gamer at all. I don't like him. I'm not, you know, this is not, this is not a defense video for Crap Gamer. Here's my, here's my, here's my point. Right, he made a, he made a comment to a, uh, to another Twitter, um, to you know some guy on Twitter, right, and he busted on him for his his profile picture, right. Now. I, the the guy's profile picture is I at least I believe I don't know if I don't know if you probably pulled this random random picture or whatever but if to my understanding the profile picture is of this guy and his family eating dinner or whatever right and he, his, the guy's picture is is on front and center right and you know crap gamer made a comment about the dude's looks which is funny coming from him but you know I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. But, and then everyone else, especially, in, and this is, again, Xbox dudes who are offended by the comment saying that, jumping to the conclusion that he was talking about the family, right? Talking about him and the family. Now, is he talking about the guy's profile picture? Yes. But am I going to jump to the conclusion that he's talking about the family, the, everyone else in the family? The answer is no. It, it, it's kind of the equivalent of, of saying that this guy looks like this look like that when you look at the guy when you look at when you uh, when you say that and then you look at the guy's profile picture he has him and his dog there so if he if he's saying let's say if he's saying that oh your profile picture sucks or whatever like oh look at oh i guess i wouldn't be talking with that profile picture and if it's a profile picture of him and a dog that means that i'm trashing the dog as well no like to me i i just i to me like me personally i don't i'm not going to jump to conclusions to to try to to enlighten why I don't like this dude, right? Why I don't like this, why I don't, I don't like him. You know what I mean? A lot of pe- and a lot of people do it. Same, and, and same thing happened with Kiss Move a long time ago. Kiss Move made a comment about about w- black women and skin tone, right? And a lot of people jumped the gun and and just kind of made it seem like oh he hates black black women and dark skin black women. But the thing that people didn't really didn't realize is that he he was commenting on a subject that had to do with, with somebody, I think her name was Black China, lightening her skin, right? Light, making her skin lighter, so I guess for whatever reason, I don't know, you know I don't know with these, with these, tr- with these thoughts, but, but like, he made that, co- he made, th- that comment that he made that everyone got upset about was actually a, 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 a commentary on, on that picture, and it was one of several tweets, but that tweet is the one that got everybody's attention, right? And it's, it's this whole, like, I, I forgot what they call it, like, um, um, quick to trigger error. I guess I, I, I'll call it trigger error. I can't think of the, the right word for it, but everyone is so quick nowadays to be upset. And in a place like Twitter, where context isn't always shown, People are just are just quick to get upset, quick to get up, get angry, quick to make a big deal out of nothing, right? And they kind of like use any prop that they need that they need to to justify their their anger and justify their hate. And I think the same thing the thing happened with Jaffrey, with with Owen, and I do believe the same thing happened with Crab Gamer and this comment. Because again, I don't know if he's talking about the family or not. I I don't know, but since he never said it. 
with the tweet and the tweet never mentioned the, the the guy's family i'm not going to jump to conclusion saying that oh he was talking about the family if he is then it is what it is he he crap gamer just justifies everything i've always said he was and the funny thing is that there's a lot of people in that comment section a lot of them xbox dudes who had no problem with him taking pop shots and doing all this stuff before now all of a sudden they have a problem with what he's saying because he's quote not an xbox guy no more you know what I mean? Like, and, uh, to me, I, that's the thing that I think that I, I'm I'm looking to to that I don't really participate in, which is fake outrage, right? And there's a lot of fake outrage going on right now. And you know, with the Daffy thing, I at least with that one a little bit, I can understand that people think that it it just wasn't necessary to bring Owen up into the conversation. I, I I'm I'm part of that. I don't think it was necessary. It was necessary to bring owen up even though i get what he's saying and i and i know that he's not trying to trash the kid at least i know that but there are people who will jump to the conclusion that he's trashing the kid and i think that's wrong right there's like a lot of people jump to like the old the whole fake outrage culture that we live in nowadays that that's just how it is and and personally i just, I'm, I'm just not for it I'm, I'm not for it so so you know it is what it is anyways this is who be 86 i'm out peace